good morning good afternoon good evening my friends wherever you're catching me um up from whatever part of the world so today i just want to do a quick analysis on um on f uh, f book sorry on facebook uh stocks you know facebook changed its name into they're now called meta you know so I'll just like to do a quick review and analysis, uh, especially if you are either an investor or someone who just trades in um, uh, Facebook stocks on, 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 the, on the stock exchange market. So I'll just do a quick recap once again. Uh, we've seen uh, Facebook was uh, went public from this around, I think 2013, 2013, yeah. And all the way from 2013, um, Facebook or Meta has just been on an upward trend. Uh, if I put in a trend line, that's it. Price always almost reaches the trend line and reverses and goes up together. I come back here. The next time it had a dip was around 2009. I think it's 2009. No, this is no, this is 2020. In 2020 in March, there was a dip. Uh, there was another one. Uh, I think this must have been 2019. And then we had the big one, which was uh, a few days ago. The dip, uh, it dips in price, and then what are we anticipating? Um, if we do the technical analysis, basically the trend line shows us, and it's always say that the trend line is a trader's best friend. A price always reaches this level and reverses. But then, uh, for normal traders, what would you do? Uh, would you is this the best time now to? to buy the Facebook, the Facebook uh, stocks or Meta stocks, or do we wait for confirmation? Uh, if we do a, a quick recap, we see that um, where price is at the moment, this level, this level has previously been used both as a resistance level and as a support level. So here, a price reached here and then it went back, which means it was used as a resistance level. Once again, price reached here to, and reversed. And then from here, it has been used as a support level all the way until when price has, has gone back. So uh, I think for me, if, 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 if I was to be looking at this, whether I know it's always good to buy low and sell when it's, it's high, uh, but I think I'll wait for a few confirmations. I'll wait for a few confirmations. If yes, the price has gone past the trend line, then I'll want the price to um retest before it continues going up so for example i expect uh buyers to come in here and try to push the price up and then go back down before it goes up if i was to use um just to just to illustrate if i was to use so price is here i expect price to come back up to here and then test this place up to there before it takes off back to where it was i think um to be that's what i'll be looking at and if at all price because one thing that i'm very sure that as price was making its way down it left this uh, imbalance up here is this huge imbalance this one this one will have to be corrected it will have to be corrected and uh if not, if we continue going down, then we'll we have to look at what was the and what was the next level that has been used as a, a support and resistance level. And I think this is around this region here. Um, I'll just do a quick draw this around this region here. So if price was to continue going down, then that would be it. But then um, to get a very good entry level, uh, we'll have to go deep down into the lower time frames and see how the lower time frames look like. And if at all there's any indication, um, there's already this market gap. I, I think I showed you this market gap on a higher time frame. This is the market gap that uh, we'll have to, to, be, to be filled when price goes up. So I'll wait. Until there's that confirmation, price will go back here and then there and all the way up. But um, at the moment, the, the the bears have the markets, you see, still pushing down and down and down. So we'll sit and wait and see what happens and uh, where it heads to.
Anyway, thank you. I just wanted to do a quick one on that. Bye.